Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this Necron showcase. We've got a really awesome Necron force to check out today. Uh, this is full force has been completed by Maylet, one of the artists here at Siege. Um, and without further ado, let's dive on and have a look at these models in all their dark majesty. Um, so for right from the get-go, uh, the spec for this project is that our client wanted the Necrons to look like they were out of the Terminator film. Obviously, you can tell that by that sort of glistening sort of silver clean armor that they've got. But the red accents, just like the eyes and weapons and things like that, are just really in keeping with, obviously, the Terminator film series. Um, so yeah. Yeah, we a really lovely red colorway with the silver just works extremely well so let's jump in and have a look at these characters from this force to start off with uh, we'll have a look at the plasmancer first of all just to start from the uh, sort of uh, some of the sort of sub characters again you can see him and it's done a great job of that lovely blended weapon there all with a brush on there and then obviously you've got the red eye with the glint of light uh, all the sort of super sharp edge highlighting on all the black areas and also on the silver as well the silver has got a really nice sharp edge highlight on it but it's uh, obviously quite bright under our lights so uh, it may not be the best visible but you can definitely definitely see it in hand a really nice sharp edge highlight on all the silver but really cleanly executed here Again, absolutely love the uh, the red energy weapons on these guys and all the red little lights and things, but you can see the little glimpse of light on the uh, orbs and things that they've got and all the little uh, red glowing effects here. Just obviously in very much in keeping with that Terminator vibe. Uh, we'll jump across and have a look at the Royal Warden. Again, a really cool character. When uh, the, the um, Indomitus box came out, obviously just the Royal Warden is a really, really awesome model. That's sort of a very aggressive, advancing pose here. Very much in keeping with that skull on the base for the Terminator vibe going on, just if, for those of you that have seen uh, Terminator 2. Um, and again, it's just a really, really awesome approach when it comes to all of the miniatures and the little bits of detail. Slight, obviously, damage and stuff onto the uh, onto the sort of rear armoured portions of the Royal Warden. You can see that sort of cloak and shawl that he's got all fully edge highlighted there with those glowing sort of red runes as well on the energy weapon and all the pipes and cables and obviously the eyes and everything all done in red. Uh, then we'll have a look at the Scorpec Lord. Uh, just again, a really massive, massive character model. You can see man has done a great job on this, just with that subtle sort of transitional blend on the weapon as well. Just really nicely done. And obviously on the uh, energy weapon that he's got here at the back as well, with all the pipes and cables and everything done in red. The little orbs and things all glowing red here, uh, even on his hand as well. And on the back, you can see just obviously those catch lights and things just painted on those sort of glowing red orbs that he's got. But absolutely love the Scorpec Lord. What a phenomenal character. Massive evil claw which I just think is great and uh, that's just the uh, awesome Scorpet Lord from this uh, Indomitus Force then we have the Lord himself just absolutely love this model uh, the pose uh, just the, the just all the little details on him is just just brilliant um, really sort of epitomizes for me what a Necron Lord should like arrogant and elite and powerful I just I think it's brilliant uh, again same consistency across all of these models as you can expect with us here at Siege again every little bit of detail fully painted all the edges all done Again, you've got that lovely sort of energized red blade, the red glowing eyes there, just obviously to go back to that, uh, that Terminator vibe. So these are all the characters from the Force, guys. Next up, we've got all the other infantry and bits and bobs that you expect from an Indomitus Force of Necrons. See you guys back in a sec. So let's have a look at this undying legion of infantry which we've got with this Necron Terminator force, uh, or themed force should I say. Uh, and again, mate, it's done a great job of using that black, red and silver colourway across these miniatures to really, really bring them to life very, very quickly and give that dark, evil sort of uh, vibe that uh, our clients want in with that Terminator thing. We'll start with the cheeky little scarabs and obviously there's six bases that come with Indomitus and you can see here they're all cleanly, cleanly painted. Um, really nice sort of section of silver and black and obviously you've got those red sort of lights and lenses and on them as well or orbs which is just cool so I'll pull them all forward just so you can see the consistency of all of them with all with the catch lights and nice blends on those orbs and red sort of lights as well which is just cool so I will pull them all forward just so you can see the consistency between all of them um, just so you can see that no matter how many things you get done here with us at Siege they will all be painted to a super super high standard as you'd expect with us here at Siege uh, so that's just uh, the penultimate one and then the last one here 
Again, just really nicely executed, uh, really cheeky, cheeky little chaps, these uh, these cabs. Uh, so that's those. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the uh, the Necron Warriors from the Force. And obviously there's 20 of them, two squads of 10 would do different loadouts. Um, so we'll just pull forward some from the left squad with a different weapon loadout, just so you can see those. Again, really, really nicely done. Super vibrant silver, really clean silver. And obviously got that lovely subtle red energy glow on the eyes, on the rune on the chest, obviously on the cable, and obviously on these sort of power orbs on the, uh, on the weapon as well. But again, all the way around, really cleanly executed uh, all fully fully painted every aspect of detail so that's just uh, one of these warriors I won't pull all 20 forward obviously because they're all very similar but uh, I'll pull forward quite a few from each squad just so you can see he's got a bit of damage there on his face uh, probably shouldn't be in the front rank uh, but you can see over the barrels drilled and everything on the weaponry as well uh, so that's just another one of the uh, Necron warriors from this squad I'll pull forward another one from over here so you can have a look at him Again, really, really nicely done. Uh, again, super, super clean painting across all of these. Uh, and nice subtle edge there just on the all the armor paneling and exoskeleton of these warriors also. And we'll jump across to this other squad here with the normal rifles. Again, just advancing here. Love the little bits of weathering and scratching just on these blades to see that he has been um, he has been fighting up close as well as obviously uh, shooting away. Uh, but again, really, really clean execution across all of these. I love the subtle bits of damage that are sculpted onto the models as well. Just really gives them a bit of age and heritage, which you'd expect with Necrons when they've been sleeping for so long. Uh, uh, so yeah, just an awesome model. Uh, that's just another warrior here, just firing away with his uh, ghost rifle. Uh, again, just really, really cool. So that's him. Uh, and then we'll pull another one from this squad here so you can have a look at him. Again, those really menacing, evil, red glowing eyes, uh, very much in keeping with Terminator, which is what our client requested with the uh, spec and brief. I love the exposed cabling here as well with that bit of copper. I think that's just a lovely little touch. Um, but again, just really nicely executed. And that's this awesome, awesome set of Necron infantry from this force. Up next, we've got all the little bits and bobs, uh, the other characters and models from the force and uh, sort of some of the uh, destroyers and things. So check those out, they're coming up next. So let's have a look at the additional models from the force after all those infantry. We've got obviously the reanimator, we've got the uh, Scorbet destroyers, the plasma site, and then the crypto thralls uh, or murder buckets as I call them. Uh, just a really nice selection of models uh, to finish off this awesome showcase. Uh, we'll start with the reanimator. Again, made, had a lot of fun working on this awesome model with all the little runes and sort of uh, uh, sort of, uh, sort of spheres and things that are on there. You can see the lovely subtle blend just on all those spheres of energy there, catch lights and things just on those. And you've got the red eye there on on the head uh, which is really really cool with two little little red lights or red lenses on there again just as he's advancing forward you've got a, a mechanicum fist there just on the uh, on the base so perhaps the uh, the foes that have been fighting these cons are mechanicum again you can see all the details are fully painted across this miniature even the big big sort of rune just inside there is all done but every little bit of detail painted on this chap again all the edging done on the metal work as well which is just really really cool and it's a lovely sort of grayscale urban basing scheme across the force just quite drab which is quite nice very much fitting and in keeping with obviously that terminator um end of the world kind of uh, genre sort of uh, theme we've got this, with these guys which is just cool so that's the reanimator then we've got the uh, scorpec destroyers again absolutely aggressive evil evil robots and you can see that lovely red uh, sort of colorway on all the blades which again is just really really nice so that's just this first scorpec destroyer uh, then we've got obviously the other ones i'll pull them all forward so you can have a look at them. this guy just uh, advancing or about to engage someone new here again you've got the lovely blended weapons on this chap also which is just really really nice uh, so again super clean painting across all the areas of these miniatures um and then this chap here as well just uh, wielding the uh, larger weapon which is just really cool you can see those red glowing eyes and the subtle sort of glazing of that red glow around the bottoms of the uh, eye sockets as well which is just really cool uh, again move this around so you can see it 360 and see all the full painting across all of the miniatures uh, then we've got obviously the plasma sight again cheeky little chap here but a really really cool model uh, again all the little lenses and things painting the orbs uh, all the black armored areas fully edged uh, through multiple stages which is nice and again you've got the little uh, spiders and things just on the base which is just awesome so that's just the plasma sight then the crypto thralls which I think are the cheekiest and funniest necro models ever released absolutely love these guys uh, murder buckets because it does look like a bucket on legs which is just really Cool. Um, but again just an awesome model and uh, again this really really lovely silver that's been painted on there just a fully edged as well but again really cleanly cleanly painted and then just for consistency so you can see the secondary one again here really like how they've got this hunter kind of vibe to them which I think 
is just awesome. Uh, so that's just this uh, second crypto thrall. Uh, and that's it, guys. These guys are now off to return. And believe me, they will be back. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.